Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. My name as always is Chris Olmy and today we are playing some Football Manager 2016. Now, the game is going quite well here with Catania back in Serie A. A second season in the big league and uh, things are things are going quite well as I say. I'm I'm happy but we still need to solve a couple of key positions in this team. Now I know I might need a couple of young players coming through to cover the defence. I certainly need a goalkeeper that is in line with the rest of the team, which is pretty damn special. So the goalie is a little bit behind where I want to be. Um, apart from that, I think we've got a great mix of youth and experience for now, plus a lot of good youth coming through in various positions. So. Maybe a, a young left back, maybe competition for a prelate at right back, and a goalie might be where we really need to step up. But overall, things are going well this season. So, just going to run you through a little bit of how the season's been going since the last video, because that was a good 1 0 win, I believe, with Ray Menard scoring against Inter Milan to open up the season with three points. Now, nine games in. We've got 11 goals out of Luis Enrique. Boy does not mess around. He has not let us down since he's joined the club. You look there, his only technical that's in white, which is, you know, 16s and above, is penalty taking. He doesn't, like, take very many penalties. Now, he's, what's that, 4 and 1 there? Has he, uh, like, scored 1 out of 4? It's not great. I'm not sure what that actually means. I think it's one out of four. Um, that sounds about right for what's happened this season. But you can see it's just absolutely fantastic, the production he gets. So a decent all-rounder. Doesn't look amazing. Still only 20. Room to grow. You know, a lot of room to grow. If you look at his, at his report, you know, he's very well suited here. He's athletic, agile, you know, professional. Positioning and work rate have gone up. He's really improving. He's still got another little bit to go um, before he turns into a full player. But last season, 33 and 38. This season, he's trying to better that already with 11 in 9. So, free transfer or cheap. I think I've seen him go for about 15 million. Uh, well worth a pickup. Luis Enrique is a fantastic addition to your squad, no matter what level you're at on 2016 so he's scoring most of the goals Pauly chipping in you know a handful from elsewhere the assists are coming from right back left back and you can see that Pauly stepping up a little bit and Hugo Van Riel a great little addition to the side this young regen winger I'm playing him on the left of my attacking mid three he's having a great debut season with us another free transfer pickup out of Feyenoord was it no, it was Vitesse. It was Vitesse. So, not a bad season from last year, but he's already getting amongst that right now. Uh, he should have a much better season with us than he did with them. But Hugo, with his fantastic sideburns, we've just got to take a look at the sideburns. Oh, magical. Magical. Um, great little pickup for us. He does like to get forward in and around the box, so good things happen then. Tyrone Mings... Only three star. I do want three and a half for the entire team. But Tyrone gets the job done. Good average rating for the season. I'm happy enough with him. In fact, you know, everyone really from Pato upwards really happy with. Um, you know, Matty and Jones just settling in. Still getting 7.3s at the back. Jorginho not great. Lily just under seven. That's okay for a goalie. Really, we're in good form. You know, we're doing quite nicely. We've got good team um, ability. Let's just say great potential. And we've got more and more youngsters. So I've already picked my squad for the next game. You can see here it's pretty much our starting lineup for most games. You know, Paulie and Jorginho are still working on that centre midfield partnership. Matty and Jones at the back working on their partnership. Hugo's coming quite well there. Kakuta and Paredes having to move around to give um, you know him an option there. Pato back on the bench with Ray Menage. Lou Alberto just there tidying things over. Saliuchan, he is probably um, 
him and Minaj are our two best sort of bench players right now that I want to use because they can develop a little bit more for the future. Whereas, you know, Pato and Alberto are just really injury depth kind of uh, players. So we might be selling those end of the season. I know Alberto's only just come in, but maybe if we got the youngsters coming through enough then we can afford to do that Mastali still developing for the future Viola on a two year loan deal he's still developing for the future and then Ferrari Gyomba Sangali's on his way out and the two youngsters then Jimmy Johnson and Antonia Diaz decent prospects a Swedish central midfielder high determination now we put him on the bench we're not really going to use him he's not fit um, he might make it, he might not. He's currently on the transfer list because I'm trying to free up some space and he doesn't look too good. But we might bring him on towards the end of the game, just put him in the shop window a little bit, see if anybody really wants to come and uh, put a little bid in on him. And Antonio Diaz, he actually does look good. He's got a lot of developing to do, but young defender again. You know, just a little run out for him onto the bench i don't think he'll play in the game but uh it's good to blood the youngsters just get them involved now and again so that's basically what we're doing what we've done in the last game last video you saw international one nil yeah it was ray Minaj who scored that goal and we beat torino then away from home drew with napoli that was a decent sort of result napoli are a big club but then away at genoa we really started uh pushing and getting back to form. Nice 4 1 win there. Livorno 2 0. Drew away to Plumo, our local rivals. Not the best of results. They are, you know, one of the lower ranked teams in this division, but still, I'll take it. It's unbeaten. You know, continues the unbeaten game streak. Novara, Roma away, big win. Verona, good game there. And AC Milan. Uh, things didn't really go my way. They kind of got away from me. We were looking good all game. There were early couple of goals from them, either side of Mings. But I was resting people. I had youngsters on the bench. They were unfit. Really, I threw everything at Roma to get that game because I kind of forgot Milan was coming up. Um, you know, I was I was looking at Juventus. My eyes kind of glossed over the the Milan game, so. For some reason, I thought that we'd you know, be able to go hell for leather against Roma, pick up a nice result against Verona, um, sort of with a rotated squad, and then you know, rest people, get people up and ready for the Juventus game. So Milan kind of came in the wrong position for us. I couldn't really do many subs or any subs. Luis Enrique had a bad game. I mean, the fullbacks played well. But not really too much there that we could really step up. So we are we are back to fitness, but it has cost us three points. Juventus are up next, and as you can see, this is a big game. We lost to AC Milan in fourth place there. Palermo actually having a good start to the season. Normally they're down near the bottom, but um, it's first place, second right now in a catch-up game. We're both a point ahead of Lazio four ahead of AC Milan I could have been three clear if we'd have gone over AC Milan at this early stage of the season but yeah you know that we were unbeaten through nine games lost the 10th now we're up against Juventus this is gonna be a tough game make no bones about it but as I say Enrique is in form he is the top goal scorer for them barati has got six and eight and uh, Di uh, sorry eight and six Dybala's got six in nine. That is a worrying, a really worrying strike partnership to go after with a central defensive pair who are still learning to play each other and sort of understand what they're doing sometimes. So, a little bit dodgy, but that's where we are. That's what we're going for in this video is a win over Juventus to take us clear at the top of the table. So, Enrique, their top goal scorer, a prelate average rating, most assists. Enrique's got a good pass completion as well. He really is the focal point of every attack. I uh, really like that. Hugo Van Riel stepping up with Enrique for Man of the Match awards. Tyrone picking up some uh, some yellow cards. Not the best for me. I don't like that at all. 
Uh, but really, things are going really, really well. We've lost some money this season. We're still, you know, quite healthily in profit. We've got a little bit of transfer budget left. And we've got good wage budget left. So we can make some moves in January if we need to. Plus, I believe Pato is actually wanted by someone. Yeah, and he's he's worth nearly 15 million right now. And Sampdoria taking half an eye on him, so... Maybe there's like seven and a half million we can make there on Pato. Maybe around the ten million mark. Plus Ferrari Gyomba might leave as well. Now we can really start doing that. Lily wants to leave. Um Well he wants to stay now, but he he has asked to leave previously when clubs have bid for him. So it's a home game against Juventus. And Yeah, they've got a good squad. Dybala Brady up front. Janajai and Pulisic on the wings. You got Pogba and Marquisio in midfield. Uh, Sandro, Bonucci, Musashio, and Lischsteiner with Bernleno in goal. It's what you expect out of Juventus. Like I said, I've already picked the team. Phil Jones is not match fit. He's back from a slight injury. Pret has had a bit of an injury, so he is back now as well. On the bench. You know, we've got some good options, not really in those positions. Viola, maybe. Um, and then Pato, probably an attacking midfield. I could have gone with to have more match fitness, but I'm going for it here. Tyrone Mings cannot get booked. We need to get after Juventus here. Put them on the back front. And I really need Louis Enrique to rebound after a bad game against AC Milan. So we'll see. Oops. We'll see if they can do it. Close down the goalkeeper onto his weaker foot. Totally take out the strikers where possible. And now we're hoping to shut down Pogba in the midfield and to keep those defenders kind of... Uh, keep them on their toes all game and really try and outscore Juventus because keeping their attack quiet is going to be difficult. Do I want to go attacking? Yeah, I'm at home. I'm at home. Right. Yes, got Enrique at the end. Got Enrique. Let's go then, boys. We kick off, or they kick off, but the match gets underway here. Nice and early, you can see they are well up for it, but so are we. So let's see how this one goes. We're not going to be too sort of uh, too disappointed if we don't get much from this. That was terrible, though. That was terrible. And it's Tyrone Mings who messed up there. Absolutely terrible. Luckily, it's offside. But it looks like they are quite attacking or maybe a little more sort of counter-attacking there. So let's see. Can we get that ball into the box, Tyrone to Enrique. Oh, a good double hit there, but he can't get it. But we do retain the possession, so maybe control will work better for us. Let's uh, assertively tell them to concentrate. Passionately encourage Enrique, and ask Hugo to get. A little creative assertively tell him to no. concentrate seems best for him I was gonna tell him to calm down but he's not really looked too bad on that oh and it's a corner Janajai to Daibal and it's 1-0 inside the opening nine minutes and that's not the start we were looking for it really isn't the start now we've got to go after them and leave those gaps. We really do need to leave those gaps at the back. So, let's go deeper. Uh, mixed lower. Hit the early crosses. Why not? Play ball at the defense. Okay, let's see if that works then. So, 
We're trying to keep possession and trying to keep the ball out the Juventus sort of possession as long as we can. Oh, it's a penalty, Lichsteiner. Oh. Doesn't get booked. That might come back to haunt us, but can Enrique level the scores here? He steps up, puts the goalie the wrong way. Leno diving to his left. And Enrique grabs number 12 of the season. That could be important. That's a bit better. Force them to make the mistakes and just keep on pressuring them. Paulie to Enrique. Look, they're sitting back rather deep. And I don't mind that. We can take a long time getting this ball forward. On you go. Oh. Oh. A deep cross there. Pumped into the box by Aprile. Hugo Van Riel unmarked. Goalie well out of position. Just couldn't keep it down. Just couldn't keep it down. A thigh strain though to Pauly means I gotta rethink a lot of things here. I gotta go with Sally here. I gotta go with Sally. Um I think an advanced playmaker support coming from midfield just to try and help us out there. It will mean the Pogba and Co. You know, maybe Marquisio is able to break up play without being too pressured. Pogba can get on the ball a bit more. But it will allow us to go forward as well. And I do back us going forward. It's defending, I'm not really sure at the moment. Because centre-backs still learning how each other wants to play. And Nicola Lili, of course, the weak link in this side for me. So, we put Salio Chan on there to try and get a little bit more creativity in that midfield. Keep moving that ball forward to the front four. And really see if we can't get things going here against Juventus that way. Keep possession, frustrate them. Give up field position if we must. Oh, another corner there. Almost going against us. There we go. Kakuta, Luis Enrique breaks down the right. And Hugo misses another one. Don't want to change those. I don't know if I want to change those aggressively encourage no uh, assertively encourage aggressively demand more from Hugo Van Riel he's not playing well and aggressively demand more from him assertively show some passion and yeah just trying to get people fired up in different positions there. I need Hugo to start playing better. He's wasted two good chances. Couldn't even get them on target. Enrique is not doing too much. He's he's being quite good as a link man. And he's not really being good as a striker right now. So, yeah. I'm a little bit worried there. Phil Jones not playing to the best of his ability. Um, and Hugo... I, I, I don't want to do it, Hugo. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to pull you because you've been good all year. And I could bring on Pato against... Uh... No, Pato's not going to do much. Alberto's not going to do much. Sangali's not going to do much. So it's going to have to be Mastali in that case. Let's jump over to the tactic screen here and make this work. So... Mastali and Sally Kakuta will move back over here. Advanced playmaker attack. Deep lane playmaker defend does seem to work for you. We'll go back to a box to box midfielder for Mastali. We'll go you on support. And we go you on attack. Advanced playmaker attack. Advanced playmaker attack. Oh. Okay, Paredes moves up as a shadow strike. I need a little bit of variety in roles there. I can't have all these advanced playmakers. So we're going to drop back there. Two attacks and a support is a nice mix there, I think. 
Uh, attacking midfielder, advanced playmaker and uh, a, a shadow striker should work quite well. We're back to our midfield being the way they should be. Goalie, let's roll it out. Fewer risky passes. Um, Mark Taita on Baradi, please, Phil. And Matip, I need you to really step on Dybala. Uh, Aprile. Let's keep Pulisic out of the game. And also from you, Mings. I'm going to want you on Adnan. Jorginho. We're going to be marking Marquisio. Bit of a rough and tumble battle there. And we're going to put the youngster on Pogba and see what happens. Oh, that's going to be an interesting one. That's going to be an interesting one. So, calm. Not happy with that, boys. Not happy with that. We need to step up. We need to prove that we are a good team and we can get the job done. So, fire up from everybody. Um, apart from Mings, who looks motivated. And then Mustali coming on now. We're gonna tell him to uh, to get forward, to shut down Pogba. We've got faith in him. He looks happy with that. Let's go out in the second half then. See how the game unfolds, and if we cannot get the top spot here, Marquisio. Well, he needs to be careful. He's on the one booking away from a a suspension, so. We need Phil Jones to come back good now. Matip gets booked alongside him though. That is not good. That is not good at all. The baller offside. Baradi offside. So we can see that the defense is, is doing what they need to do there. That was really, really poor. Phil Jones and they get it back. Baradi to Dybala. No, it's going to be Pogba, but look at that. Paredes. Oh, Enrique brings that down. Lovely. He's outnumbered. And sadly, it only works its way back to Burn Lane up. Here's Paredes down this right flank. Gil Kakuta hits the post. Oh, putting him back on the left-hand side does seem to have worked, but... Oh, Paredes, Masales, come on. Oh, my days. Mings can't get much clear on that. Good boy, Lily, good boy. This is a back and forth game. I think we've got the slight advantage here, but as you know. This is a very, very dangerous team we're up against. Now, Enrique does does go above a seven. I don't know where to make the change. Do I go with Matty Pierre? Do I take off the big boy at the back? I might have to on that booking. No one else is looking really tired. So, 65 minutes. Let's go make our final change then. Jean Matip off for young gun Sebastian Viola. We are giving the youngsters all the chances in the world. Oh, he looks happy coming on. We're just going to have to see how that one plays out. we got to trust in the youth. Viola and Mastali have come on. Uchan as well. See what Sally can do there. Looks like they've changed up a little bit as well. So let's go have a quick look at this. Pretty much... The same though. Chiellini's just come on and Hijak's come on. They've just replaced like for like. Let's apply that advice. And again, shut down the goalies. Try and make them make a mistake if possible. Do I want to close down Baradi and Dybala? I've got to. I... Yeah, there's, there's there's no point not to, so... 
if I don't shut them down, they get something, I'm going to be disappointed there. Nice for Jorginho to get that clear. Can we get this away and counter-attack? Please, boys, please. Salute, Chan. Beautiful. Paredes will keep that in. Plays it up there, but that won't get anywhere. Phil Jones cannot just nod it down. He tries to head it clear. But Ratty to Pulisic and Aprile there on his man shuts him out. So again, we're going to go back to controlling the play. Cannot beat the first man with that corner. And again, we get them shut down and sent away. So we're going on control. I want them to go on to structured here. Team talk. Assertively. Encourage. At this point, I think I'll take one all. I also want to make a couple of tactical changes in terms of roles. I'm going to go with wing back defend and uh, limited defender defend. I don't really want to play as a stopper. I want to play limited defender, but he's not the best at it. So we're going to see how that works out with Phil Jones then. That might or might not work out in our favor. Um, yeah, I, I don't know on that one so much. I really don't know on that one so much. And we're going to bring Jorginho back here because... Like, why not? We've, we've got nothing, really, in this midfield battle so far. So we're going to play him there. Sally Chan now becomes our advanced playmaker support from midfield. Advanced playmaker support and advanced playmaker attack now in attacking midfield with Louis Enrique playing as a poacher more than anything. And player, let's see if we can do too much here. Move into channels, get further forward. Um, move into channels, dribble more. And shoot more often. Move into channels, roam from position. So we'll just give him the chance there see if he can put some pressure on the back line see if we can't get him a little bit free and easy when we're in possession and move our two attacking midfielders into the channels hopefully dragging defenders all over the place and nicking a goal towards the end but i will take a draw here it does keep us back in the lineup for the uh yeah prayers just come on so what was jan Ajay? Always, always hard, weaker foot. Excellent. And we're going to go in hard on Marquisio as well. He's on a booking. He won't want to compete with us. And Jorginho and Mastali can really put some pressure on there, maybe. Last few minutes, let's go back attacking. Let's open the game up a little bit. 86 minutes, passionate. Let's go for this then, boys. Let's get them fired up. And as soon as we're able to, we're going overload. We are going after this game late on. Try and take all the game to Juventus at home. Let's go for the win. Last gasp. Can we get something going here? We can't, but we do play out with... We do play out with a, a draw, which is okay. I'm not happy with that result, though, boys. I think we should have done better. You didn't play to the best of your abilities. A prelay played well, but apart from that, there's not really too much to write home about, but that is how this game is going to end. An early Dybala corner. Uh, well, he heads in an early Janajai corner, I guess. And, um, yeah, a penalty from Louis Enrique keeps him going well. Puts us now two points clear of Lazio and five clear of AC Milan. 
means that Milan are the only ga- the only team in the opening eleven games to beat us. That's not bad. Seven three and one. We're slightly behind Juventus. Um, but it's a great position to be in early on in the season. It's not where we where we think we'll finish. I'm not sure what a title challenge is on the cards this year. But really, pretty good. Pretty good start on the season. Paulie's out for two weeks. We've got the players to uh, to kind of cover for him. So not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Let's have a look at the schedule then. We've got a decent little run of games now. Um, Udinese, I think Lazio's the next big game, or maybe Inter. Sort of, I'll probably go for Lazio in that because they're doing better of the two teams. And uh, it is a home game, and it's at the start of the January transfer window. So the next live com likely to be the Lazio game. And then probably we'll pick up a way to Juventus. We'll get the other side of the double header. And then maybe the last but one game. Um, and then simulate in the same video the Verona game to end the season. That seems likely to me to be where we're going to stop off in the series. But that's going to end the video today. Not a great result, but not a bad one either. I think the start of the season has been pretty good. I need to get better at rotating the squad and getting match fitness back up there. I've been a little lackadaisical on that front. And it cost us against Milan. I don't think that we were great against Juventus. So really need to start uh, working on that. But I'm not too worried about the Pauli loss. You know, the defence played well. Tactically, I think we were switched on against um, Juventus. Mastali didn't do too badly. Viola didn't do too badly either. You know, youngsters with some potential. Uchan as well came on, did okay. So, I think we're okay. I think we're running quite well at the start of the season. So, I just need to make sure we take care of the squad. But like I say, that is where we're going to leave it. So, if you have liked, please do leave a like, a thumbs up on the video. It does help me out. Um, it lets me know... You know that there is support for the videos and that means you know i'm much more likely to get them out and get them out quicker as well um if you are new here then please do consider subscribing if you do like my content you can follow me at chris on me at you know on twitter have your say there have your say in the comment section below any tips tricks any players to watch out for just let me know kind of how you think the videos are going any insights you have, anything you'd like to see more of, less of, you know, I want to hear your feedback, so let it go in the comment section below. And uh, check out my other series, we've got plenty of other series on the channel, different games, we've got another save in FM as well, so check those out. I hope you've enjoyed, I hope you stick around. I've been Chris Ormy, and take care guys, until we're back here with some more from Catania in this Elefantastico save. Till then... I'll see you guys later.